welcome back to high psi tv jeff in my own shop for once in a long time uh i'm gonna start doing some package stuff today so i showed you guys in the last video i've got a, a carburetor rebuild kit and a fuel pump rebuild kit and then just an oil filter for it and the plan is to rebuild the carburetor today and hopefully everything goes smooth i've never rebuilt a carburetor that is 65 years old never worked on anything like this before so luckily I have the service manual in case I forget how something goes together. But basically what I'm gonna do is just take it apart piece by piece and lay it in order on the table, clean it and put it back together and hope that I do it right. Um, this is the first step into getting the Packard running, uh, which is my goal hopefully in the next couple of weeks is to get it running just so that I know the engine's in good shape. For those of you who haven't seen it before, that is the Packard, it's a 53 Packard Cavalier and uh yeah so it's been sitting for a long time it's going to need a little bit of work as far as mechanics go the brakes don't work but like i said getting it running step number one so this is just going to be like a time lapse kind of thing and i'll stop every once in a while and show you guys what i'm doing and try to figure out how this all works um it's a pretty complex carburetor things were a little bit more confusing back then if you put a holly double pumper in front of me i can take it apart and put it right back together cleaned and ready to go but this is going to be interesting uh, a lot of flathead screws hopefully everything comes apart like it's supposed to but without further ado let's get busy So what we've got so far is we have everything for the choke assembly removed and like I said it's a lot of flathead screws and I think they're brass um, I haven't had any strip out yet I'm trying to be real careful when I do this so basically how this is gonna work is the carburetor comes apart this way and then we're a holly but take it apart this way so the next thing I have to do is there's a uh, filter here and then they call this the filter housing and then you pull the main body off of it so I'll let the uh, time lapse run while I do that. So I have just pulled the metering rods out, which is kind of like how an Edelbrock works. And I'm trying to keep everything in order the best I can, but now I need to pull the main, uh, they call it the choke horn, off of the carburetor base. So we've got all 16 screws removed from the top of the carburetor. Now I'm gonna try to pull it off. All right, so after much fighting, I finally got the air horn assembly to dislodge itself from the base of the carburetor. And you can see, this is kind of funny looking. These are all your floats here. They actually attach to the air horn and uh yeah so what i was having problems with was this plunger right here which looks like it finally came unhooked now that i can see how it works i know how i should have taken it apart there's a little eyelet right here and there's a uh, plunger down in 
the carburetor base that hooks into it. So if I could have just reached down and there was a screwdriver and popped it off, it would have come right out. But either way, the plunger is stuck down inside the carburetor base, so I'm gonna have to work on getting that out. But you guys can see that this thing definitely needed a rebuild. It is full of junk and someone decided to silicone the bottom of it to the intake manifold. So cue the time lapse again, I'm gonna keep taking this apart. All right guys, so still working on the disassembly. What I'm doing right now is pulling out the jets and there's eight of them from what I can tell. They call them a different kind of jet, but that's what the primary jets look like. There's four of those. And then this is what the secondary jet looks like. There's four of those. So uh, like I said before, a real complex carburetor. It's probably would have been easier for me to just put a holly on this thing because I know how to work on them. But in the interest of keeping it all original, this is what we're going with. So I'm gonna take out these last two jets and then hopefully I can separate the main body into two halves. All right, so as you can see, I've got most everything disassembled and laid across the table, but I've run into an issue. There is a plunger in there with a spring under it, and it's for the accelerator pump. And when I was trying to pull it out, I broke this piece off of it, which is no bueno. Uh, I can fix this, I think, but now I have nothing to grab that guy way down there. And I tried blowing air from the back side of it, but when that tab broke off, it uh, it's not airtight sealed anymore. So what I'm going to do is get a little brush, and I'm going to kind of ream the hole out and see if I can get that plunger to move up and down a little bit more freely. So this is what happens when you work on 65-year-old stuff. And like I said, most of this will be time-lapse, but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go to like AutoZone and get a bucket, and I'm going to fill it full of lacquer thinner and soak a lot of this stuff. Cause I don't think me scrubbing it with brake clean is gonna be enough. It needs to soak for a couple hours just to get everything clean. So this might be a two day project for me, but you guys will all see it in the same video. So I'm gonna start messing with this thing and we'll catch up with you guys in a minute. All right, it is now day two of carburetor disassembly and I am still unable to get the plunger out of there. So what I did is I went to the auto parts store and I bought Chem Dip Carburetor Parts Cleaner. And basically, I guess it's some pretty nasty stuff but there's a little basket in the one gallon container that hopefully I can put this in, loosen up all the crap and get that plunger out of there. But in the meantime, while that soaks, I'm gonna go outside and steal a carburetor off of one of the other cars. And honestly, I don't even know if they have carbs on them. I gotta walk out there and check, but let this start soaking, go see if I can scavenge some parts off the other Packards and uh, then we'll come back in here and hopefully start putting this thing back together. Okay, so good news. I uh, looked under the hood of both the two-door and the four-door parts cars. The two-door car is a two-barrel, but the four-door car is a four-barrel carb. So, you can see this car also had power steering, which is kind of rare. And I might actually take the front drive off this and put it on the other car, because it'd be cool to have power steering on the car that I'm fixing up. But there is the other carburetor. Ooh, and it's still got the little glass fuel filter on it. And this also has the oil bath air cleaner, which is kind of uh, an expensive piece. So I'm going to take the air cleaner off, pull the carburetor off this thing, and get it inside so I can start messing with it. All right, so we have the other carburetor off of the other four-door car. And it is, uh, it's not the same model number. It's a 2108S, whereas the one that came on that car is a 985S. So... Without boring you guys too much, I'm just gonna tear that one apart and see if I can get to the part that I need to get to. All right, so we're getting this other carburetor apart and these are the pieces I was having an issue with and you can see 
these move freely. So you have your accelerator pump here, and these are your needle and seat here, for, or I'm sorry, your uh, needle jets here, and you can see that moves freely too. So I need to get the top plate off this carburetor and then get the parts that I need, and I will be done with this one. All right, in the interest of not making this video 90 minutes long, I'm gonna close it out here with everything being disassembled and then I'll do another video where everything is cleaned and I'm reassembling it, but I'll link them together so that you guys can find them both pretty easy. So I've got some of the parts soaking here. This was the original carburetor off that car, which was in a lot better shape than this carburetor. But this carburetor has the plunger here that I can't get out of that base plate over there. So I may be using the center section of this carburetor with all of these parts off the other carburetor. They look the same even though they're a different model number. And you guys can see how weird this stuff is. These are your floats here, your needle jets. That's your accelerator pump. Um, it's just, it's really weird. And I've never messed with a carburetor like this. So I'm going to leave these pieces assembled uh, just so that when I go to put the other one back together, I can see what needs to go where because there are a lot of little screws and a lot of little jets in here so i've got this stuff soaking i'm going to flip it over and uh get everything clean and i'm going to go edit this video so that you guys can see it tomorrow and then i'll come out here early this week and start reassembling everything and put out a video on that uh, i am going to the track today so excited it's cold notice i'm in a hoodie um so yeah more packard stuff coming at you i want to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time